What's up, So Real Gang? This is part two to Krishan's live. She continued on with Clarissa in the comments and she had a lot to say. She even went in depth in how she felt about the 20 versus 1 and how wrong Mar was for what he did. She did state that she wouldn't mind doing another video with Mike, but he would have to meet her in LA. Now, my whole thing to this, we all love the 20 versus 1, but if it's going to continue being drama and people trying to step on other people's toes when everyone can eat and everyone can work with each other, then... It needs to be some type of rules and regulations to this. It's no reason that no one's life should be put in danger for just a video. It's not even that serious. It's just funny as fuck. But, um, y'all know who I'm talking about, so it don't even matter. I'm talking about anybody. But, uh, yeah, uh, it was crazy. She said, Carlissa, why you got me blocked? I can't see your comments. I can't see her either. Maybe. Like, I'm responding to my fans and saying what she said. I don't even see her in the. Like, I'll add the bitch because I got real questions for them. see the bitch comments either but like I would add her because like I think we all got questions for that crazy lady so long with her she always like speaking on my name and shit on uh the stories like bitch you know you're not valid enough to talk on my behalf I don't tell you shit I don't know you like that we don't talk you don't got a relationship with your grandson when you first saw him, that was the only time you was going to see him. Uh, and people like y'all just need to die. Like, I hate people that's just on this earth. Specifically just want to be here, just want to pop it and pop it and talk shit. Like, I felt this feeling with your son. I think, I think people like y'all but be so fucking hurt. Like, you feel me? And be so fucking evil. You feel me? And people that be so fucking hurt and so evil and just out of place and just be mean to everybody for no reason. Like, you got no reason to terrorize anybody. Call them out on your story. Um, all type of shit. Like, I feel like nobody got, nobody got that much, like, you're not, you're not supposed to feel like you're allowed to do what you're what you're doing. Like, that's one thing I am popping my shit about to face. Like, I know we was beefing, but you was never supposed to post your son dick. Or, ooh, like, he get that weird and shit from his mother. Like, and I feel like as an adult, he's going to learn that's going to hinder him every time being like his mother. You feel me? So people like her just need to die. Like, I don't know. I just feel like evil people that just think being evil is funny needs to die. Like, 
What are y'all here for? Go to jail. Go, go die. Like, it's not wishing death on you. It's more wishing you goodbye. Like, it's a wish goodbye. Like, goodbye. What are you here for? What's, what purpose are you serving? Other than clickbait, going viral, hurting the loved ones, um, not really having no relationship with anything or people that love you. Like, people like that just needs to die. Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm taking the braids out for sure. I was just saying, like, I don't really, like, and I don't like speaking on, I don't forget what I felt like. I don't forget what it looked like. I don't forget none of that shit. But I do forgive. And then I have, like, a soft spot for him because... The simple fact that he changed my life and that before it got toxic, he was my friend. Before it got weird, he did love me. Before it did, we was just cool. But it got so weird and deep and out of place. Oh, Had me fucked up. You feel me? But I'm just saying, like, evil people, just, just terrorizing shit, terrorizing people, just picking with motherfuckers, just saying anything. Don't got nothing, no correlation, no nothing. I'm telling you, y'all deserve to fucking be off this earth or in jail. Like, goodbye. For real. I'm responding. And I have to respond sometimes. Or I'd be, I'd be like, God, please help me to learn not to respond. And just whoop you whoop you whoop. But like... people i have a reason to hit every time i hit somebody in the face i always has a reason don't come over here and start fucking playing with me in my face don't just come over here thinking kumbaya don't just come over here playing yeah you're gonna get hit in the face uh what i was put on a show 2019 the environment was saying fight. <coughs> That's why I was like. <coughs> But no, I really was really on here addressing that little, that shit that could have been a shootout at my 20 one Like, I don't know what was going on. It was like YouTube beef going on. Bro was mad because he wanted to be the only one that shot with Kashan. And bro, that's 19. Really ain't do shit to nobody. He just favored, like, ain't gonna hold you. His little come up, what he doing, the project, the people he working with. He favored by God. That, that's how I'm looking at it. Because the way them niggas came, it was like pure jealousy. Because the fact that you can it just didn't make sense to do what they did. Like, you really took the nigga cameras, pistol whooped his people, threatened to kill him, and then all because he was filming with Christian Rock. Like, so you risking your freedom, everybody life, and it's so crazy because I ain't gonna hold you. If, if I was with niggas, like niggas, I had security, okay? I had a security, he looked at me. He like, what you want me to do? I said, just stand in front of me. But if he point that gun, you better point back. You feel me? And blow, like, what you mean? But I'm saying, like, say if they did that, 
and I was with like niggas that don't even tolerate the small of dis disrespect just because they're in the same room with the situation. Like when they pulled up on bro, try to take it out on a YouTuber. He was, they was disrespecting me too. Not like that, but like, what are you doing here? What are, what are y'all doing here? What are you trying to terrorize and fuck shit up for? Like, like what? Like if I came with the niggas that care about shit, like they care about, man. My people probably would have shot them niggas on oh God because it's like don't bring, don't pull no gun out and don't pull no trigger. That's one and four first and foremost. Because when you pull a gun out and don't shoot, the next motherfucker that want to protect themselves gonna pull out and shoot. Because why the fuck are you pulling it out? You feel me? But I was really on some like graceful shit that day. Nobody really was like. But I feel like, what are you doing? Feel me? Like, let them have, pull up on some niggas that was strapped up. Like, like not just, oh, I just got security here, but, like, actually strapped up, watching you popping it. Yeah, we're going to leave, but before we leave, y'all going to have to get dealt with because that's what y'all was asking for. So it was just, like, the situation was bad. Like, I don't even know why YouTubers even beef like that, like, why are you guys beefing? You guys are YouTubers, bro. Why do you guys want to be a street nigga so bad? Like, you didn't have no reason to pull up and put hands on anybody at all. Nobody on me. I could go film with anybody I want to film with right now. Y'all better not take it out on such and such because, like, all right. It's like when I did the interview with Jason Lee and then I did the interview with Kevin. But it's not, they're not about to shoot each other because... They in competition because they interviewed the same person. Like that's what I just witnessed. I I witnessed some some Hello? How the hell you let that happen? That's what I'm saying. Niggas was like, oh my God, he pulled up. I'm like, yo, they they lucky I ain't do nothing. Or the people I was right. with that was going to was gonna do something. I literally, I, no, nah, but I had to be like the bigger person because I just, I'm, I'm tired of running in trouble and then can't diffuse the situation. I have to flex a muscle. Like, everybody know who the fuck I am, how I'm, how I'm coming. So it's like, niggas ain't really want to do that and then i couldn't take the youtube beef so serious like it's youtubers you feel me so i'm still in shock yeah, like <laughs> they don't take us serious uh, anyway uh, is, is this a skit no uh, <laughs> then when bro got flat i'm like no whoa whoa okay and then i'm still, still like i'm still sparing bro it's like well y'all doing all this weak ass weird shit right here like self-defense is not a law like what's going on because y'all well, you should have came out, here. We got guns. Nothing. I'm telling we you, they pulled shit out. They pulled shit out and didn't shoot nothing. So it's just like, that's the scary part. Like, they going to jail like anyway. I wanted them to shoot something, but it was just like, you might as well have stood. You should have stood on business. But it was weak as shit. So basically, the, the episode not dropping? So basically, the 19 year old got robbed for his cameras. Mm -hmm. He got marked out, and his people got fucked up. If he's smart enough, which I think he's going to do, he's going to get all that footage, use it for his little advantage for entertainment, and plus, he can go, he going to take it to the cops. And then, the way it looked like, he can sue niggas, get his cameras back. Like, he can do it the right way. But for I don't sure. know sure. what. Nah. Right, I said so, for sure. but that shit was viral. Like he had the the little nineteen year old. He was finna go up for for sure because a girl came and popped it because she found out her nigga was doing a V one with me. So that was funny. My BD kept calling on. How? Like his call. content was very be crazy because it was like it was a good time for him. Like and to film with me, I'm like a viral sen sensation by itself. So it's like yeah, I was doing my job but like I said like, like
my BD calls from Collect Call cussing me the fuck out. Like all of all this shit was filmed though. Like everything was documented. So while yeah, this he, nigga he, like he, he, and you he, can he tell he's funny. excited. Like the whole time we filming. He like, I can't wait to put all this shit together and just go the fuck up. But why when and then it was close to the end, that's when they came. They came close to the ending. And then they just snatched the cameras. And it looked like if we would have tried to snatch the cameras, they was even gonna fight us or shoot us. So niggas just let them snatch the cameras and run out. Then the one nigga was trying to fight the other nigga. It just bad. Like it's just like, damn. And then it's crazy because the niggas that pulled up on bro was like twenty and twenty five and up. Like y'all the older niggas picking on a little nineteen year old is crazy. So them the first people you yeah. shot with. Yeah, so I shot with, I, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I shot with the, the niggas that pulled up with the uh, sticks. I shot with them the day before. <laughs> Picked up my money, did my job, shook my hands. The next day I shot with the little 19 year old. But I, that same day I shot with bruh, I saw the little 19 year old at the mall and then he, he faked like just, hey, I got 15, what's up? And I was just, okay, what we doing? Like, you feel me? Cause I, I charged 25, but when he was like, what he said, I was like, oh, you you a baby. I fuck with you. Give me that 15. Whatever. I'm, I'm in the city. Like, might as well knock this out before I get on my flight. Push knock out. that shit out before I got on my flight, nigga. All these old motherfuckers hating on a little kid. It kind of weirded me out because it was like, the nigga I felt with, filled with that had sticks, I'm disappointed in him for him because when I filmed with him, I was proud of him too. Like, I'm like, I'm happy that you're doing what you're doing and you were successful enough to get my ass here and we finna go right. up. But it was just like how he was hating on the next nigga and then he had to mark out the next, it was just so, it's just like to see outside looking in, I'm just so, I feel sad for the situation, like for that nigga too. Like, why is you even, what is you doing? Like, you supposed to show little, little bro how it's done. He's supposed to fall off to your footsteps and I, you hating on the next little boy, that's not cool. And, but that's how the industry is. Like, all these bitches that's older than me, all these female rappers, they always try to, like, little girl me till. I thought we talking about YouTube. <laughs> I'm just saying, these, these, this industry is cutthroat. And it's no, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a good place for people that's young and trying to come up because the old motherfuckers. They're scared to lose their position, know that they running out of time, just panicking. Like, what you panicking for? Right. Are the little, little niggas that don't got no money, but thriving and striving, but still don't got no money, still following after footsteps of the motherfuckers that's already set. The niggas that's already set is hating on the motherfuckers that's coming up. I don't, I don't agree with that. Like, bro was cool till he pulled up. Like, if he would have pulled up and would have been like, run me my face and it's better be in your clip, that would have been cooler than being a real, real, real sour, absolute hater. Like, you know, like say if he did, say if they did talk it behind the scenes and he did promise not to shit with me and all this other stuff. Yeah, throw a fade. Cool, let's get down with the gloves. Y'all pulling out triggers and, okay, now you a, you a weirdo. Like, no, nah, they, they was whooping his ass. He had to pull that gun out. That's why. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.